Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Audio Digital and I'm here with a tip and a trick for a Bitwig. Bitwig is a great DAW, it is the main DAW that I use for pretty much all of my music productions and I love it because it is designed with music production in mind first and foremost and I'm about to show you an example of what I mean by that. So I have this track right here and I have this pad playing and some other tracks going on and then I want to go into this section right here which is a breakdown. So All right, so let me show you what I have here. So you see as we go into this breakdown, the uh, strings here the uh, pad is really sounding a lot into the breakdown and maybe some of the reverb from the other tracks are sounding into this breakdown too and I just want to I want it to be a very brick wall transition so normally what I might do is come in and put some sort of an automation fade out for all these tracks and that has its own set of difficulties and problems but something I realized is that in Bitwig, when you have a bus track like the master track here and you put a clip on it, it it mutes out everything else but the clip. So to show you what I mean by that, I'll take a, I'm just going to throw in a little audio clip right in here. And let's hear what that sounds like. So it's just it's just playing this clip on the master track and it doesn't allow anything else to come through. It basically mutes everything else and just plays this. So we can really use that to our advantage. That is a, a feature. And what we can do is create our own clip here. Just gonna drag a clip out to cover the entire section of this breakdown. And then uh, I have some uh, strings here and I'm gonna go ahead and mute these tracks because I don't want the strings to play into this breakdown section. And so what I'm going to do is click here and I'm going to bounce in place. And that way it's going to bounce my breakdown down to the master track and it will be the only thing allowed to play in the entire mix during that period of time. So let's listen to that same passage again with this bounce in effect. I'm going to turn these back on. So as you can hear, it cuts off all of the reverb and everything from these strings and just takes me right into this breakdown. And it, it's, it sounds very smooth. There's no clicking or popping or anything. And the same thing's true over here. I have these, uh, the, this pad and so forth sounding early because I don't want it to ramp up coming back into the song section here. And again, this is the only thing that's going to sound right up until it comes right into this next part. And we can listen to that real quick. So this is a real handy tool and you can use it, um, of course, if you are familiar with Bitwig, you might already be familiar with the bounce in place function that you can take any MIDI and just bounce it into audio and then you can come in and uh, cut up the audio in all kinds of ways or whatever you want to do with it. And one of the advantages to that is like, for instance, if I wanted to solve that same problem in a different way, let's say I didn't want to bounce all that down but I want to stop this stuff from sounding so much, I could just snip this little piece off here and then bounce that in place. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm still going to get some of the reverb, but I won't get any of the sustain. We can hear what that sounds like. So that's a lot better. So there's several ways to use bounce in place to solve the problem of too much sustain or reverb or whatever uh, and keep it from kind of keeping your song from being crisp or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's a really great feature. And keep in mind, this works on the master track. You can even render things to the effects tracks if you want. 
so that effects uh, that are coming through that bus will stop anytime you want them to or you can actually cut them up and kind of remix your effects. You can also use it in folder tracks. So if you drop any sort of um, clip onto a folder track, it will just play that thing and nothing else from within the folder is going to play out. So anyway, yeah, use that and um, uh, I hope that's useful to you. And let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again, like I said, Bitwig is my main DAW, so I know it decently well, and I like doing content about it because it's something that I, I use often and I'm excited about. So if you have any questions or any ideas or videos uh, that you want me to do related to Bitwig, let me know, and I will at least consider doing them. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.